what is going on everybody it's your girl not asia bars and real shit i want to talk about power you know what i'm saying season four episode nine what is really going on now what's crazy is it was hard to really you know this is the reason why it's not good to look at a leaked episode before it comes out if you're still going to watch it because you already know what happened however there were still scenes that we missed like things that we did not see when we saw the leak so i was happy to see that you know what i'm saying but um let me see where i should start from uh you know what it's hard to talk about this one because Raina's death scene is was really sticking out of my head and what's going to happen after that like, so I pretty much want to do a prediction, I guess. Because I'm like, damn, Ghost is going to probably go crazy. Uh, her mother, you know what I'm saying? And it's their fault, you know what I'm saying? Because they did not, they raised their children in a suburban area and basically wanted to forget their past and never share it with their children ever and make those kids feel like there's no such thing as a bad world and the hood, you know what I'm saying? They didn't really know nothing about the hood. So when Cannon came along and taught Tariq about the hood, uh, that was a good and bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't just take the knowledge. He actually wanted to be a part of the shit. You know what I mean? So that's the crazy part about it. And that's what ended up getting his sister killed. But at the end of the day, I'm looking at all of the comments and I'm like, well, damn. It's a lot of people blaming Tariq for Raina's death. But I'm like, y'all really have to blame these parents because it started with them. They're the drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? They are the drug dealers. His father is the murderer. You see what I'm saying? So when Raina said, my father is going to kill you, that's the reason why he shot her. You feel me? Now, if she had any street knowledge, she would have never said anything like that. And she would have never approached him. You see? And I understand she was trying to take up for her twin. I understand. That's her brother. She loves him. And then, and then what else is crazy? Tariq, he's going to be guilty. I feel like he's going to start uh, getting on those drugs heavy because he's the way he treated his sister was terrible. Not only was he physically abusing her, he was always verbally abusing her, telling her to get the fuck out of his room and throwing her out of his room and just always being rude to her. And It's crazy because now that's the memories that he has. She always was trying to be nice to him. But anyway, let's get on some other shit. Dre. Dre said, you know, he got himself fired because that's what he wanted. He wanted to get himself fired. Okay, so now he's going to be the new uh, connect. And that's crazy because Tommy said, I don't need you. I don't need you at all. I don't need nobody. And he said, you sure you want me to walk out of here? Tommy said, get the fuck out of here. I don't need you. And it's fucked up because Tommy is going to need him. Because he is going to be the person that he goes to to get those drugs. And, and the look on Tommy and Ghost's face is going to be priceless when they find out. That that's the person they're going to have to go to to get drugs. Wow. And, um, okay, yes, I did see some of the leak of uh, the season premiere. I don't even, I think it's the season premiere, uh, episode 10. And the way Tasha acts with the guy, uh, Silver, is kind of crazy. Um, she did just lose a child, you know what I'm saying? But she's still, like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't see her grieving the way she should be. Put it like that. Like, even Silver said that. He gave her a hug or whatever, and he was talking to her, and he said, I'm surprised you were on your feet. You know what I mean? It just seemed like she would be balled up in the corner somewhere. Like, I don't know. I guess that's how you can separate TV shows from real life, because um, she should have had way more emotion for her child. But then again, it was a leak, so we didn't really get to see the parents' reaction when they found out about their child being killed. So that's why we all need to make sure we tune in to um, episode 10. So we can see what really happened. And we can also see the ending of 10. That's the most important part. And that was cut out of the leak. And that's a lot of reasons. That's a reason. That's the uh, main reason why a lot of people did not want to watch the leak. Because they felt like it was just a tease. And it's going to be parts cut out of it. And, and it wasn't going to be high quality. Which I can understand. But me being the person I am. I wanted to see what the fuck was going to happen. <laughs> and also I wasn't sure if they was real. Because, you know, like I said before, I was like, is this even going to happen? Because sometimes they pick a lot of different endings for these shows. And then at the last minute, they pick the real ending. And I wasn't sure if they were just showing us some bullshit or was this really what's going on. Kind of find out they was the real leaks. And also, I'm not sure if y'all know, but 50 Cent actually admitted to leaking 
power on purpose. You know what I'm saying? I guess because he's he's starting his new show or whatever um, on BET called uh, what that shit called? Cause he keep on hashtagging that shit and I can't even remember it. Fifty Central. That's gonna be his new show coming out in September. So for the BMF uh shit, I'm not sure when that's coming out because he's he's focused on Fifty Central. You know what I'm saying? And that John has been uh I'm sorry I'm trying to read something. It has been confirmed to have at least uh twelve seasons, so I guess he's serious about that. But um he also confirmed that Power is going to have seven seasons. I thought that it was only going to have four. But he plays around so much, guys, I don't even know if he's serious. But in his comment section he did say there was gonna be seven seasons and I pray that it is because power is so fucking dope. I would not want it to end on those damn season four. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see much more. Um, what else did I want to say? I don't know. Um, Tommy, the way he tried to play Keisha, that was crazy. Like, he talking about something. I found out my dad is alive. And she was like, really? Like, of course she got some feelings for you. But you sat there and, and in the same breath, you're going to say, I need you to clean some money for me in the weave shop because Tasha ain't with it no more. I know she was like, man, boy, if you don't get out of here trying to use me blatantly. Like, he didn't even let a day go by. He just straight up said, I just need you to clean some money for me. Like, damn. Like, you can't keep using that girl like that. That girl been hurt too many damn times. You know what I'm saying? And also, what else is crazy is Tasha wanting to go legit. That's crazy. Because she looked at Ghost and frowned upon him because he wanted to go legit. And now she want to go legit. So, who knows what's going to happen with their relationship. And also, as we can see, James St. Patrick and motherfucking Angela Valdez will end up in the bed again together. Come on now, y'all. Y'all know damn well they both wanted to go home with each other that night when they was uh, at that little meeting or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I don't know. It's so much going on, y'all. Like, I just feel like this next season coming up is going to be crazy, explosive, fucking dope as shit and i will be here to talk about it you know what i mean because like i said that's my favorite show i got a web series that's my favorite show called mayhem oh my goodness i don't know who else watch it but if you have not checked out mayhem i don't know what you've been doing m-a-y-h-e-m go to season one episode one and check that shit out man they about to start their new season september 7th and y'all have to check that out i'm talking about it is fire if you love power, you will love mayhem. I just had to mention that because, damn, that show got a lot of shit in it. From relationship shit to street shit, hood shit, uh, crooked cops, drugs, everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. That shit is everything. You know what I mean? Um, but as far as power goes, it's not really much. I don't think, I think I touched on everything. Oh, Teresi, uh, Tommy's father. I do believe he will end up wanting something. He does look like the type that's manipulating um, his son, you know what I'm saying, to get something. I'm just not sure what it is yet because he being too easygoing. You know what I mean? I understand when you think you owe your child something because you ain't been there or whatever, but he's too easy. Like, anything you want, you can ask me for it type shit. And then when Tommy said, I just want to meet the rest of my family, that's what's crazy too because who the fuck is the rest of his family? You feel me? Like, who the fuck is it going to be? And um, somebody mentioned in one of my uh, comment sections, I, I believe it was my subscriber, Will, one of my day ones. He said that he's, he said someone said that uh, Teresi is, um, what the fuck is that? Holly's father. But I'm like, why would somebody say that? Now, if it come out that Tommy was related to her, that's going to be some real sick shit. But I just had to mention that because this person watches Power with us. And for him to mention it and be actually, you know, considering it, I was like, what would make him say that? But anyway, Will, if you can hear me talking about this, let me know why you would say that uh, Teresi was Holly's father. That was real crazy. You know what I mean? That would be sick if he found out. Oh, my God. But anyway, y'all, you know, comment below on what you was feeling about this uh, episode. You know what I'm saying? Episode 9. Tell me what you think going to happen in episode 10. And if you've seen the leak, you know, we still got missing parts, like I said. Still let me know how you feeling about everything and what's going to happen next. And um, that's it, pretty much. It's your girl, Niaja. Bars and Real Shit, Power, Season 4, Episode 9, Recap, and Thoughts. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I drop that fire. Mwah.